Hello, this is video number four, and um, I was just thinking about um, creating opportunity. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I will probably never dress up for you all, sorry. Dreads are usually piled on top of the head in 100 degree weather, and I'm usually in yoga clothes, but anyway, and so that's that's a story right there, just, just putting that out there. So, let's see, I was thinking about just creating opportunity energetically and and in all ways I guess um, because right now I am so I'm employed part-time um, at a lower hourly rate than can sustain my bills and um, I've been unemployed it's been the first time in 13 years for um, or I was unemployed for about six weeks, and then I just got started this job like last week. Um, so I hasn't fully started like yet, um, kind of like easing into it. And so just energetically putting out there what I want. Um, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. I'm probably going to jump around a lot in this one. Sorry, my brain's all over the place. But I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately, and I was thinking about how my friend and I almost started a podcast. We would um, get into these really amazing conversations about relationships. And um, we joked about wanting to start our own podcast. And so one time we tried omitting names of who we were talking about. It was a shit show. Didn't work. Uh, and now when I'm listening to these podcasts, I'm like, oh, I wish there were a video. Uh, just because it's even if it the person isn't doing much other than sitting there <laughs> in a very comfortable chair, um, at least you can see them and see their body language and, uh, put a face to a name and, you know, things like that. Um, and I think that's already gotten me off topic, which I'm trying not to have a specific topic, but, um, I do want to have a point to these. I don't want, I want people to tune in and gain something from them because I know that I just skipped over like five podcasts because I wasn't engaged and I wasn't feeling like I was getting anything from them. So I want to talk about putting things out there energetically and what my experience with that, um, how you can really create your own, you know, manifest your own future and manifest what you want. And, um, I have been slowly moving away from a very typical nine to five job. And, um, I'm learning that my own fear around money right now is coming up for me and pushing me back towards, um, a lifestyle that I don't want, which is a nine to five job. Um, I want to be able to work, um, remotely, have a loose schedule because I'm a hard worker and I'll get the job done. And so I know that, um, if I find the right companies, which I, I, this part-time job I just started, I, I feel like I have found a really good match. Again, I, I'll ask me again in a couple of weeks and I'll give you my honest opinion in a couple of weeks once I'm actually in it. Um, and I feel like I want to, you know, I, I've been putting that out there and, um, someone asked me the question, you know, a couple weeks ago, like, well, what's your, they said something like, you know, like, are you concerned about, you know, I moved to a new location, um, quit my job, don't have much savings, you know, what, what's your freak out point? And I didn't really have one. And I feel like it's cause I'm entering into a new part of my life where I'm trusting, um, the world and I'm trusting what I'm putting out into the world. And, um, I think that there's a lot to be said for maintaining positivity and also, uh, kind of like believing in what you want before you get it or, or, I mean, that sounds weird and but it's like, it's like I, there's a part of me that really wants to dive into like creating my own business or going, um, doing life coaching full time. Cause that's always been like a small, like part time job for me. And I, and then I'm also scared. Like, well, what if I'm not that good? Or what if I can't sustain it? Or what, you know, all the fears that come with that, like, what if I don't make enough money to pay my bills? And, um, and so then I find myself like shying away from those dreams and diving into applying for jobs that maybe I don't want or 
maybe are not aligned with my values. Um, and so I just keep putting it out there energetically. And now I'm, you know, I did end up getting, like I said, this, this job that does align with my values and is a flexible work schedule and does not pay me what I would like to be paid in the sense of being able to pay my bills and, and just do that one job. At the same time, it also creates space for me then to take on more life coaching clients and to um, maybe do some event planning on the side. And I struggle with event planning because I have a lot of skills in that and I love it. I really thrive off of that uh, just uh, like busy, multitasking, um, crazy, chaotic nature of what event planning can be. And at the same time, I want to do it for a deeper cause or mission. And so doing that on my own or being a consultant on my own in that realm is, I can't really imagine how that's going to happen yet. And so I feel like I'm just open to how that might come to fruition. Maybe I'll wake up one day and know, or maybe I'll never know. And regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, and I have been putting out there other random things like I've been dog sitting as if you know if you watch my other video I've, I've been dog sitting I've been painting people's offices and um, working like events you know you know basically getting gig through friend and and stuff like that and it's and it's interesting how you know you find something it opens a door and then that opens another door like Oh, I'm dog sitting and then a friend mentioned that to a friend and then I got a second dog sitting gig and then I painted an office and the call the next door neighbor came over and was like I love you did a great job will you paint my office and and so but then trusting that that will sustain itself I was listening to um what was I listening to oh I was listening to um Anna Kendrick's book which I mentioned yesterday scrappy little nobody and just thinking about how an actress um you know, is really kind of waiting for the next gig, right? So you're like always working and then hoping, basically putting faith in that you'll get another gig lined up because um, some, one of the really nice things about having a full-time job and doing that nine to five or whatever it is, um, is having that steady paycheck. And um, so I'm just, yeah, I think it's important to keep putting out there energetically. And maybe this I think this podcast or this video is more for me, um, uh, you know, to remind myself in a, that I need to just keep doing that and keep believing that, um, it will all work out the way it's supposed to work out. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else I want to say about that. There's so much energy in the world that I feel like we all, we're all connected. And if you've heard of the term Ubuntu, um, Desmond Tutu talks a lot about it. I, I really believe in that, that we're all who we are because of, um, you know, I am who I am because of you. And I believe we're all energetically connected. Um, I'm not sure I believed that quite as much before my sister, um, two years ago, got into a really bad motorcycle accident. And, um, and she was, she was, a, a miracle she survived um and a miracle she survived past the first couple days she was in the ICU for two months and um she lost part of her her right bone flap she lost part of her skull and um I remember asking people for prayers and for energy and for whatever they wanted to send forth in terms of healing whatever they believed in it didn't matter to me I just wanted to be a channel for my sister and not really knowing what that meant. And then, um, and I'm not a, I don't consider myself a religious person. I don't consider myself, I consider myself someone who does like to have like facts and stats. And at the same time, I think that there are things out there that we can't explain. And there are things that our brains just can't even understand. Our brains are too small and underdeveloped to even understand or fathom the possibilities out there. And so I'm always trying to challenge myself to think beyond and think, I, I, I don't want to say deeper or bigger because it's like, it's basically just expansive. It's like thinking expansively and being so open to anything that could impact or influence me because 
over the past few years, I've had experiences that had you told me I was going to be open to or, or have experienced 10 years ago, I would have laughed at you or it wouldn't have even registered in my brain. So anyway, I get, I'm getting a little off topic, but oh, just to wrap up my, the comparison of my sister is that there's this one time I was sitting next to her while she was, um, in a coma and I had my hands on her body and I just started, um, deli- you know, intentionally visualizing the energy that people were sending out and f- flowing it into her body. And I've had a little bit of experience with Reiki to know to keep energy flow moving and keep it circular and to know that it wouldn't be draining of my body to be this channel for her, that it would actually help energize me. And I swear I could feel (laughs) like energy coming in. It sounds so cheesy. And if I'd heard myself say that prior to my sister's accident, I just would have been like, oh, cool. You felt that. Like if someone else had said that, great, good for you. Um, but you know, I, she survived and who knows why, um, who knows what, you know, whether I had any part to do in that or not me, but he, you know, channeling people's energy. But I just really do believe in, um, kind of, I guess, putting out what you want back and on a simpler level to say it like that, I think is what make, um, what makes the most sense to me. And so putting out there that, you know, I'm, I want to work, um, I want to work remotely. I want to create my own hours. I'm a hard worker and I know, um, what I'm capable, capable of, uh, I learn quickly and, um, and I and need to trust myself too, that when I, you know, think about taking on more life coaching clients and when I think about starting my own business that I, when I'm ready, it'll happen. And I don't know where, if that will be before the end of these hundred videos or only number four, or if it will be never. And Either one is okay because I'm really excited about the experiences ahead of me and um, excited to learn more about what my own balance is with with money and with working and fear and um, just opening up my heart. So, yeah, that might have been a little scattered, but um, I want to keep these videos kind of short. So I'm going to end it now at 12 minutes. Uh, thanks for watching. This is video four. And I'll see you tomorrow if you're if you're watching them.